Hi viewers, welcome to ZFS TV. In this video, Collection is going to show you 5 new Disney Store diecasts from Cars, brought to you by Disney and Pixar. And they are Flash, Long J, Memo Rojas Jr., Frosty, and Vitaly Petrov. So now, let's start it up and check them out. So here are 5 new diecasts from Cars. Brought to you by Disney and Pixar And they are 143 scale by the Disney Store So let's take a look at each and every single one of them Starting here with Flash He has a background card with Probably relating to his country which is Sweden And on the side you can see the display of the detailings And this card has some details on the back about him Next, we have Long J, the Chinese racer. Some card detailings on the back. Here is Memo Rojas Jr. Tokyo background. And for the back, we have his picture of himself. Alright, now let's move on to the two special ones. Here we have Frosty and also some of the de detailed logo of himself. Kind of like a metallic blue. As for a Disney Store diecast, they cost $7 in the US, Canada for $1 higher. Whereas before is only 6.5 and 8.5 inflation. As for these earlier cases, they can actually have some screws to lock the die cast. So this one is a bit complicated. You have scissors and like the cut of the tape right here, which hopefully I can demo out for you. And last but not least is Vitaly Petrov. I don't know if they're metallic blue paint, but technically it's not. And like the Russian logo with the wrench based on like ego or bird. And that's pretty much it for these 5 new Disney Store diecasts. I'll be right back with all these 5 opened up. Wow, these guys look amazing out of their packagings. I mean, just look at how much color they have. And if you guys have not known, I actually have Frosty's and Vitaly Petros variations from Mattel to do a comparison with their Disney Store regular variations. And you also want to know is that I would have gotten their Mattel like releases, but they are super chasers, which means they are very, very rare. So that's why I decided to pick up the Disney Store diecast. And besides, it's a change of pace and it's quite good. So now let's start with Long J over here. Let me put these at the side here. So one thing you should really know is that the Disney store actually has added details and Mattel has accurate details. I mean for the Disney store, they always do repeated expressions but they did add the antenna. So you know like the same model of Max Chanel, here's the Mattel's version. And apparently they do not add the antenna on him but just a little comparison between Mattel's and Disney Store's diecast. Mattel's is 155 scale and the Disney Store is 143 so that's why they're a bit bigger and for anyone who wants to know Tomica is 164 which is really really small. Alright just some quick details he has the normal expression that the Max China model would have and the details of the China flag. Very cool rims, I love that. The big spoiler. And then the details are like kind of like lion or dragon patterns would have. And then on the roof here, you can actually see that the there's text on the there's a Chinese text on the hood that says Zhongguo. 
And for don't know who, what Zhongguo is, it's actually China. So most of these racers, they actually do represent the, kind of the, the countries for in a different like Chinese language. For example, like on Shu Todoroki, it says Ruben and then seven. For those who don't know what Ruben is, it's called Japan. Because I've been learning like Chinese language a lot. And quite a coincidence that both Shu and Longje are actually from that representing Asia and actually Asian too. And just a quick comparison. Nothing special on the base. And for those who don't know, China is actually red and then the the flag, the star on the logo. Alright, let's move on to Flash. Now Flash is based on the real life driver Jen Nislon. And for Long J, I think it's probably just himself. Flash represents the Swedish racer. Like I said, Jen Flash Nilsson. Flash is his middle name. Which is very surprising. For the Swedish flag, it actually has kind of like cross shaped like that. And then the crowns has the logo on it. The base is like the same. Here we have Memo Rojas Jr. Based on the real life driver himself. He is representing Mexico with the red, white, and green paint on him, like a flag. And for the logo on that, the flag is actually Hencho and Mexico. I was going to say it earlier, but I kept forgetting. And the back, I don't know if it's a like a mistaken of a detail print or not. I'm going to assume that it is. Alright, let's move on to the two special stars, Frosty and Vitaly Petrov, and then we can do some comparisons with Mattel's variations. Alright, so as you can see, Frosty and Vitaly Petrov are the only ones that did get variations. Frosty has four variations and Vitaly only has one. Frosty is silver, ice, and carbon. There's also neon, but I don't have him yet, but it's actually reasonable not to get him because they haven't, I mean like Mattel hasn't even did Francesco, Carla, Rip and Jeff. So that's why I decided not to get them. And just to clarify, I'm doing that just to save money. Vitaly Petrov only has one variation, which is Ice Racer, like how Frosty did. So let me just take a quick detailed look at Frosty for you guys. As you can see, representing Australia right there, and there's the shape of the country. Stars, details, and then the antenna, which Mattel never did, not even on shoe. Pretty cool rims, a nice determined expression, and very interesting metallic blue paint. Both sides are the same, which is kind of fine. The back here has green, green outlined tail lights. And for those of you who don't know, Frosty is based on Mark Winterbottom who is the Australian racer, which is a coincidence again, which his name is actually Frosty Winterbottom. Mark is his middle name, which is actually hinted on the ice racer over here. The initials actually say FW12, which means Frosty Winterbottom, which as hinted, Frosty Mark Winterbottom. And while we're here, we'll just do a comparison. You can just pretend that I'm doing the Mattel's like regular variation to Ice Racer variation. So this is actually the first time that they actually had a number for Frosty and that is number 12. There's the back, got some details. They actually have blue outlines rather than the normal green. And the Australian country, they actually get a little bit smaller. Alright, let's do Silver Frosty. 
which is actually the first variation that Mattel has ever made for him. And sure enough, the green like outlines is actually accurate, which I'm not that sure. Could be the same mistake, but they do add it here as well. Alright, let's go for the last one, Carbon Racer, which is the most similar one, which I'm not complaining, I just like that. And this time the initials and the flag is actually a bit smaller. But the stars do actually match. Alright, let's go on to Vitaly Petrov. Representing Voiborg Russia. Based on the real life driver himself. And just like a Russian logo with like wrenches and bolts, double sided bird. From what I remember. And he actually does have a metallic blue paint as well, which is very interesting. The back here, even like the taillights didn't really stop him. And here's a comparison with Mattel's Ice Racer variation, which unfortunately was the only one, but we'll take what we can get. Even on here says VP11, and here's a comparison too. Surprisingly, Vitaly Petrov now is a number 11. Unfortunately, the back window is not accurate. This should be accurate, but I don't know why this, this is about. But they do did well for Frosty and Max Chanel. And before we end our day here, just for, literally forgot to show the background cards that were included for them. Here's Flash's card, which, like I said, could be representing like from his like Swedish racing tracks, but I don't know much about it. And just for anyone who's curious, this is actually the art that Mattel did for their original releases as a super chase in like the opening of Cars 2 2012. Here's Flash's card. We'll just put him back there. Here's Long J's card, which is representing the brightly lit streets of Tokyo. Which, again, coincidence, China and Japan are actually in Asia. Which, uh, actually, China is Long J, Japan is Shu, and actually, I'm also like in Asia as well with the two of them. Here's Long J's card. Also made by Mattel too. And here we have Memo Rojas Jr. Also Tokyo, but it's more of the style of the track. You can see the starting line over there. I've seen this like many times before. Even in the Tuna series. And this is the art that they actually made. Alright, let's move on to the last few minutes of talking here. So I hope that not only you enjoy watching this video, but also being my subscriber. And let me know in the comments below that what you think about not getting these five diecasts from Mattel but in their Disney store diecast like I did and also how you feel unfortunate unfor for their variations that you can just get rather than just spending lots of like cash for their regular variations because they are really really expensive if you haven't heard yet but also if you haven't like want to look for more fun, you can join the Disney Cars and Planes community. The link to that is in the description below. Bye now. Boom. And also please subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.